We're just not set up for situations like this. Kay Nichols and his team at A Barn and Ranch in Salina, Texas, take care of nearly 1,000 cows every day. We just know that we always got to be prepared for situations like this. Nichols got plenty of hay ahead of this storm, not just for food, but for comfort, especially for the smaller calves. It really starts, that really heats their body up. Now Nichols' staff is having to break through ice in their ponds to get water for both his equipment and the cows. We're just feeding the heck out of them. Even with this planning, Nichols has lost six calves and four cows this week. Some of the older cows, it was too much stress on them. But, you know, it's, it's, we, we've been fighting it. It's these type of operations that are vital to our state's food supply. While ranchers take care of cattle, the meat is generally sent to processing centers, then to restaurants or grocery stores, then to your home. The earlier in the process there are issues, the more people and businesses are impacted. The electricity has really been the hardest issue. Zane Mai of ZNT Cattle hasn't lost any cows so far, but has lost power a lot. And the only way we can get that water is through an electric, uh, through electricity. Mai says they have had 29 outages this week, only getting power for 15 to 45 minutes at a time. As soon as that power comes on, whether it's 1 o'clock in the afternoon, 2 o'clock, 4 o'clock in the morning, First thing, I jump out of bed and I have to go out to the well house because I have to go out there and thaw out the pressure pump to allow it to op operate. It's something Nichols knows all too well, working as fast as he can when they do have power. You just kind of put your nose down and you just keep keep grinding till you, till you get the job done and there's a be sunshine back one of these days. Which will be a welcome sight for both ranchers and cattle alike. In Salina, I'm Jay Wallace.